Hi, I'm Jamie, the Traveling Baker. It's Tuesday, so that means another traveling tip. We're gonna shift gears this week to saving money and uh, affording to travel. A lot of people ask me, Jamie, how can you afford to travel as much as you do? You must make a lot of money. Well, the short answer to that is no. Um, well, there are things that you can do um, as far as finding deals and when to book your flight, and you can get creative when you are traveling, um, you still need a chunk of money to travel no matter what you do, even if you find a good deal, even if you volunteer when you travel, so you still need that chunk of money. So the two things that I like to stress are budgeting and choices. Now as far as choices, um, traveling is just something I choose to do. I do not spend money on cable TV. I have furniture in my living room that is 20 years old. I drive a used car. I don't buy designer clothes. Um, do I care about any of that? No, not at all. Um, travel is a passion of mine. I consider it a hobby and it's where I choose to spend my money. So if you're thinking of doing more traveling or wanting to do more traveling, you, do, you might have to sit down um, look at some of your financials and, and make some choices as far as things you want to keep in your life and things that you might have to give up to travel. Number two, budgeting. It really just takes some planning and budgeting. You can book a flight up to 11 months in advance. So if you wanted to take a trip in December of this year, 2013, you could book a flight already and have the rest of the year to save. Um, I think about budgeting for travel in, in three chunks. Um, you need a chunk of money before you go, several months, so that would include like your airline, maybe a couple tours, maybe some hotels, possibly. Uh, you need a chunk of money when you go, so you need some spending money. And then you need money once you get back, and that would be everything that you charged on your credit card while you were on your trip. So if you, if you think of your money, if you think of um, spacing out your budgeting in those three chunks, um, it's not so overwhelming. So it it might cost you, you know, two grand to t to spend, uh, you know, ten days in Europe. I'm just throwing that number out there. But you don't need ten two grand all at once. You can find deals, and I'll talk about those within the next few weeks. But you do have to have some money to travel, and it's it's can be done, and can be very affordable um, if you make the right choices and you budget your money. So um, we'll see you next time.